In the previous videos in this video series, we learned fundamental and useful data wrangling techniques to convert dirty, messy data sets into clean, usable formats. If you haven't had a chance to watch those videos, I do recommend that you go back and watch the complete series. Because now that we have a clean data set, we can conduct some basic data analysis using grouping and aggregation functionality that are built into Pandas. So grouping and aggregation of data is a very common analysis technique that allows us to analyze subsets of data based on shared characteristics. In Pandas, the group by method allows us to divide a data set into groups according to one or more criteria, such as values in specific columns. Once grouped, Pandas also includes several aggregation functions like sum, mean, and max, to name a few, that can be applied to each group separately, allowing for the calculation of summary statistics or the application of different transformations. This approach is particularly useful for identifying trends and patterns across different segments of a data set. It also provides insights into the structure and relationship that exists within our data set. So to get started here, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and import pandas as PD, and then we're going to load this CSV file into a new data frame. And this CSV file is actually a result of all the data wrangling work that we've already completed in this video series. I've included this file in the video description below. So if you wanna go ahead and download and save it to the same directory location as the Python file you're working with, you can follow along with what I do here. And so this data set, if you're not familiar with it, is a collection of different records on users that are enrolled in a rewards program. And like I said, we've done a lot of cleaning in this, we've removed duplicates, and so now we're ready to go ahead and do some basic data analysis. Now it's important to note that when you're creating groups from a data set, you don't wanna select columns that only have unique values. Instead, you want to select a column that has duplicate categorical values that you can easily group together. So let's start by grouping our data set by state name. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna create a variable here called state groups that will hold our groups. And I'm gonna set it equal to our data frame, which is rewards df clean. And then I'm going to call the group by method and I'm gonna pass in the column name state name here. And so that will create the groups based on the state. And if we wanted to visualize that, we can go ahead and run this. Now, when you run that group by method, it actually creates a group by object, which can then be used to generate and output different aggregation values, such as count, sum, mean, max, min, or other numeric values. And this is similar to creating pivot tables in Excel. So for example, if I want to get the sum of all the numeric column values within each one of these groups, you can see here that the groups have been created based on the state name. And then I have the sum values for these different numeric columns, some of which are more useful than others. Now you can also apply multiple aggregation functions at once using pandas ag method. And so as an example down here, I've already typed this out. We can reference this state groups object. And I wanna specifically focus on the points spent column and then I reference the ag method and then I give it the different aggregation methods that I want to apply. And again, this is like creating a pivot table in Excel where we're gonna get multiple columns for each one of these aggregations. Again, some of which are more useful than others to us. Now, if you would like to apply multiple aggregation functions to multiple columns at the same time, you can also do that by restructuring the syntax of your ag method into the format of key value pairs, where the column names serve as the keys and the aggregation methods you want to apply serve as the values. So you can see an example here where I'm now just referencing this state groups group by object, and then I'm calling the ag method, and then I have in here key value pairs. And so the first one here is the key for the column total points earned, and I want to apply the sum, max, and min aggregation methods to that and then also points spent, I want to do the same exact thing. So if I output this, again, it looks a lot like an Excel pivot table where we can see the state names have been grouped together and we have those different statistical values calculated there. Now Pandas also allows you to group by multiple columns, which provides a multi-level index result. And so let's go through an example here. Let's say that instead of just grouping by state, I wanna group by city and state. So I'm gonna create a variable here that's city state groups, and I'm gonna set that equal to my rewards data frame. And then I'm gonna call that group by method. 
And then here, I'm going to actually give it a list for the different columns. And so the first one will be city, and the second one will be the state name. And so when I run this, and I can actually visualize it, let's go ahead and apply the sum function here so we can get an output. And again, we're gonna see something that looks a lot like a pivot table, but here we have filtered it down into two groups, first based on city and then based on state name. And so we can actually get a much deeper level of granularity in terms of the grouping and then the aggregation of those values. As a final note, after all of the data wrangling work that we've conducted on this data set, it is still possible for errors to be present. That's why it's very important to pay special attention to the details when conducting your analysis and always keep an eye out for possible errors and omissions. I hope by now that you've seen that Pandas data frames and series are incredibly versatile and useful for conducting data wrangling and analysis. The examples that we've covered in this video series address the fundamental operations and provide you with a solid foundation to use Pandas in your own work. Experimenting with these operations on your own data set is ultimately going to be the best way for you to learn and understand their power and flexibility. To explore all the parameters, attributes, methods, and features of both Pandas series and data frames, I recommend that you refer to the official API reference guide on the Pandas website. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos.